Ramaswamy. Joining me now is Tribe founder Vivek Ramaswamy. And, you know, Senator Cotton saying that he's going to investigate these Wall Street firms that are part of the, quote, climate cartel. Do you like the idea now that there's more light being shined on this? I think it's excellent for there to be more transparency on this issue because if you think about it, Charles, if you got the CEOs of Exxon and Chevron and ConocoPhillips and BP in a room, and together they coordinated to cut production and gas prices spike at the pump as a result, that would be an obvious price-fixing violation, an obvious antitrust violation. People would be going to jail, demanding that U.S. companies here at home produce less oil and everyone pays the price as a result. So I'm glad that politicians like Senator Cotton are catching up and getting and ca caught up on this issue. In fact, he's at least among the pack leading the way. But I think we need to have more of these conversations out in the open so that everyday citizens can even better solve this problem through the market. It's eye-opening for people who used to think of this as some technical movement. ESG, what's that? What's with these three-letter acronyms? That's complicated. I don't understand it. Well, guess what? It was complicated, and it was designed to be technocratic by design to lull the public into submission. But now it's affecting the prices we pay at the pump. Now it's affecting how much food security people have in places like Sri Lanka. Citizens around the world are waking up to the fact that this ESG movement is now imposing mandates on their own lives that reduce their own quality of living. Right. And what's going on with these large asset management firms is it's not just the fees they charge through these ESG funds. It's worse than that, Charles. What they're doing is they're doing favors for big government, for the Democratic Party included, through the back door to get done through the private sector what government right. could not pass right. through the front door under the Constitution. You look at how many of BlackRock's alumni are now staffing the Biden administration, Council of Economic Advisors, Treasury Department, you name it. Look at who actually gets to administer the COVID stimulus packages and who gets to charge a fee for doing so. It's none other than financial institutions like BlackRock. So the companies at the top are benefiting from using their clients' funds to advance these ESG values, but the clients in those funds, the everyday investors of this country, are the ones who are left holding the bag. So it's very complicated, but that's by design. And I think that now the more light we shine on this problem, the more that everyday investors, nurses, teachers, doctors, can see how their own money is being abused and exploited to implement terrible policies that cause them to pay for $5 gas at the pump. And I don't think the people of this country are going to stand for it once they realize what's actually going on. Go, go, go. Blessed in abundance. Look who raised from the dungeon. Still come through when the clutch. I'm that dime in a dozen. Filling up clean to the function. Niggas mislead with assumptions. Gotta stay clean from the grudge.